If you wait too long, you might miss it, but if you visit, you'll never forget it. Butte County's Table Mountain is a land of ephemeral waterfalls, fleeting streams, and gorgeous vistas, and in the spring, explosions of wildflowers. Hi, I'm Jason Manley, and on this Butte County adventure, we're chasing waterfalls on the North Table Mountain Ecological Reserve. It is a beautiful crystal clear winter day here on Table Mountain. A lot of people like to hike here during the spring for the wildflowers, but it's an excellent hiking destination anytime during the rainy season, November through April. We're starting off at the parking lot off of Cherokee Road and we're gonna be heading to Phantom Falls, which is about a four mile hike um, round trip. There's a restroom, um, there are interpretive signs here so you can learn a little bit more about Table Mountain before you go on your adventure. Well, it's time to start hiking. I got my hat, I got water, snacks, good boots for wet and muddy terrain. Let's go! Don't forget to pick up a California Department of Fish and Wildlife Lands Pass before your visit. I purchased one online, but you can also use the QR code at the trailhead or get them in person anywhere that sells a fishing or hunting license. If the parking lot is full, there is limited parking along the shoulder of Cherokee Road, but be sure that your vehicle is not blocking any part of the pavement. And if you're bringing your dogs along, make sure they're on leash at all times. So Table Mountain is an ecologically sensitive area and the soil is really thin sitting on top of that basalt. It's really a special habitat and that's how we get those great wildflowers. But to protect that soil, it's really important to stay on trails where possible. Or if you need to go cross country, aim for durable hard ground like rocks, tables of basalt, or dry dirt. So when you come to Table Mountain, of course it's all about the wildflowers during the spring and the waterfalls during the rainy season. But some of these really small intimate cascades that you see along the way are really special too. They're just a really peaceful area to stop, take a rest if you need to. It's a good spot for a photo with the family. While you're hiking, you might see cattle grazing on or near the trail. Be sure to give them at least 300 feet of space, and if they're blocking your path, you can walk around. Now when you're here on Table Mountain, the trail system is unofficial and there's a lot of opportunities to go cross country and get a little disoriented. So make sure that when you come to Table Mountain, you're prepared with a good map or GPS capabilities. One of the really good resources here in Butte County is the Chico Hiking Association. They have really wonderfully detailed maps of the Table Mountain area. They also have a botanical guide for the Table Mountain area for the spring so you can help identify the wildflowers. We're a little more than a mile in now and we're at Ravine Falls, which is a great halfway point to Phantom Falls. It's one of the first big waterfalls here on Table Mountain that you go on this trail. It's a great destination of its own if you want to keep your adventure here short or if you have small children. Just watch your step around here. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, Table Mountain isn't exactly flat. So it's pretty rocky, lots of opportunities to slip, trip, fall. So make sure you have those good shoes. Uh, make sure you're ready for some rocky terrain. The good thing about Ravine Falls is we get to go down into the ravine and get a great view of the falls from underneath. It's a little bit steep, but it's really worth it. I just came down that steep switchback we got up close and personal with that basalt. You can touch those columns right there, ferny and mossy. But if it's rained recently, you get to see the underside of Ravine Falls. And just like that, we're back up on top of the plateau. And you get a really great view of Ravine Falls from over here on the opposite side. Wow. And if it's even possible, you get even better views. The Sutter Buttes, the Coast Range. It seems like the whole Sacramento Valley. It's gorgeous. So about two miles in, you make it to Cole Canyon which is this beautiful giant canyon here on Table Mountain. You still have excellent views of the coast range and you can really see some really cool basalt formations. This is that Lovejoy basalt. If you've ever been to Bidwell Park, that same, that same type of basalt that you see down there at Bear Hole. It's a really cool area and we're just a gaze away from Phantom Falls, also known as Cole Canyon Falls. 
And if you can get here shortly after a rain, there's also Little Phantom Falls, which makes for a spectacular view of both waterfalls in the same frame. Let's check it out. To get the most out of your visit, plan your trip on the weekdays or early in the morning on the weekends to beat the crowds. Expect more people during wildflower bloom, but Table Mountain is quieter and still spectacular earlier in the rainy season. Out and back to Phantom Falls is just one of many hiking options at the North Table Mountain Ecological Reserve. To find more adventures, go to explorebuttecounty.com. Every time I hike on Table Mountain, it's a new and interesting experience. You got greenery and great vistas in the wintertime with waterfalls, wildflowers in the spring. When you're out here hiking on Table Mountain or anywhere else in Butte County, just make sure you pack it in, pack it out, stay on the trail if you can, stay safe, and have a good hike. Thanks for joining me, Jason Manley, on another Butte County adventure. There are a lot of opportunities to hike outside any season here in Butte County, so keep on exploring.